Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deserialize using Newtonsoft a two-dimensional array. I'm then also going to show you how to loop over that two-dimensional array. Enjoy. As you can see here on line 26, this is where it gets complicated. We have a two-dimensional array. I will show you how to process that with Newtonsoft. So this should be pretty fun. Now, when we begin processing, we got to make sure that we have Newton soft installed and then we can begin. So the first thing we'll always do is give a file name and then we will read all text. I would probably put some does file exist above that, but we're just trying to keep it lean and mean here. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to come back and look at our object here, our JSON object. And when we're starting to build classes, we just have to go, you know, step by step. So the first thing I'm going to say is a public class. And this is like an array problem, right? So this is what I'm going to call it. And uh, now when I come and look at these right here, this is key value, key value, key object. Hmm, okay, so these first two should be pretty easy to do. So you just say public. Now whatever this word is, just bring it over and say public string, whatever that word is get set. Now remember, the spelling has to be um, the spelling has to be identical. So section public string section Now this site, is that key value? Yeah, it's key value. But this value is an object. So we can't continue in here. We have to create another object now. And that is called site. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and then we'll say public class underscore site. And then we can just come back up here and fill in the blanks and say public. What do you say here? Site, because it's an object. Site, get set. Now remember, site is this word right here. Okay, so now we're looking at site. Now, notice here is our first array. Remember, this is an object. From lines 5 to 33, we have an object. And inside that object, it looks like we have an array of strings. So my first entry in here would be public string. I have an array of them. And let's call those columns. Get set. Now, columns, of course, comes from columns. Now, my second item, it looks like uh, an array of integers. So we don't have to be smart here. Public int array. And what is that called? Index. Now, this next one is where it gets tricky. Notice the name of my variable is called env, but it itself is an array. See, like this one right here was just an array of integers. This right here, okay, got an array, but then I have another set of arrays, because so this is called a two-dimensional array. And the way Newtonsoft works is arrays get converted over to list. So what we can say here is we can say public list, list, and then we can say object, and then what is the name of our variable? env get set. All right, so site, site, got that in there. And now what we have to do is we have to come bring all this together. So like right now, we've, got, we've taken our JSON and we've created our objects, but now we have to actually deserialize it. So Newtonsoft has deserialize and it's array problem. I'm sending in JSON text as my source. So let's see how this compiles. Let's see if we got a little blue star programming here. Uh, build, rebuild, and uh, okay, so a little blue star programming there. That's the way I like to do that. And then we'll step through this F10, and bam, 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 bam. And then let's look at data. Okay, data. 
mod didn't get picked up correctly. Section is F name, site, columns, env, and index. Okay, so I gotta go look at this mod. Doesn't have mod there. So let me save this file. Maybe, maybe I renamed it. Let's uh, start over. So I did say mod here. All right, cool. Let's step through here. F10. Okay, so network, frame, site. Okay, so columns has a name bus. You see that? And then in this index has got a one through four, zero through four, and env two dimensional array. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so now let's start taking the data out of this data, if you will. So the first thing we can do is we can just save it off to a variable, and we can say var en var is data env. Because remember when we looked at that, we had site env. So I'm just going to go directly there and get that. And then to get the first element out of there, you know, we're just dealing with arrays now. I'm, I'm no longer teaching you Newton stuff. I'm teaching you how to process an array. So uh, it's kind of simple, right? Get a sub zero. Let's uh, move this little Jesse back here. F10. And uh, what's it? ENVIR, notice that that's that first element, right? So, and then first F10. And what do you, what do you got there? See that uh, class A1, five times one? So we were able to get that. And then uh, let's uh, write a little looper, you know, like let's loop over this data. And once again, this is just, you know, arrays, there's like a thousand different ways to do this, for each, whatever, however you want to do that. Here, I'm just getting the count of that ENV sub zero. And uh, so that would be one, two, three, four. That would be four. It's going to loop around four times. And we'll console print that. Let me uh, reset my little pointer here, F10. And uh, I'll show you the output in just a moment. OK. And uh, there was the output. Class A, 1, 5.1, and 1. So that was pretty easy. We just had to go step by step. And once you start going step by step, it then becomes easy. But if you try to solve the whole problem in one get-go, that's when it gets difficult. So now you've learned a list of list that kind of is equal to a two-dimensional array. Shouldn't have any problems. Okay, team. We'll see you back in the next video.